Well, we, we lived right on uh, Quirby's Golf Course, and uh, that was where I learned to play golf. And uh, probably about six years old, I started playing. I played in my first golf tournament when I was probably nine or ten years old. I won it, and I never won another one. <laughs> Well, Bill and I shared a bedroom all our, until we went off to college, and it was typical brothers. We had good times and bad times, fought, and, <laughs> but we had, it was it was good growing up. We had good fun together. Mom and Dad taught Hank and me to really be humble, teach us that we're no better than anybody else, which we're not, and uh, and those were you know great traits to try to follow. My first year at Alabama was Coach Bryant's first national championship team there, and of course that was unbelievable. You no, know, Bill and I, you know, he went off to the University of Alabama, and of course I went to LSU, and we uh, have fun kidding each other about that football rivalry all the time, although he has a little bit better record than we do. <laughs> I met my wife there. Uh, she was from uh, Troy, Alabama, and uh, I met her I think I met her our junior year. I didn't. I didn't date her that year, but I, I dated her after that. But uh, uh, we fell in love and uh, and married in 1964. The business started uh, with our grandfather uh, soon after the depression. And you know, when Hank and I got old enough to know what our family was doing, we realized you know they were in the oil business and it was a family business. One of the most interesting things was our grandfather uh, told our parents that at some point they should get out of the business, that they shouldn't stay in it. Uh, it, it looked like we didn't listen to what he said. We uh, complement each other, and I do the oil and gas engineering side, Bill does the business side. He kind of does his thing and I do my thing. And, uh, it, it, it has always worked. He's a very hard worker, very, very, very brilliant person when it comes to stocks and bonds and investments and uh, much more so than I am. I, I can just drill holes in the ground. <laughs> the, the best part is we've got very, very good people that we've been associated with, with, our, with our business. Uh, we, we feel uh, very uh, fortunate and lucky to, to have had outstanding people working with us. He's an American businessman. You know, he likes and understands risk. And so he's a risk taker, job creator, you know, the, the heart of, of American business. Bill has always been a hard worker. He, he does his homework when he's done his investments. And uh, when he presents something, he's, he's thoroughly researched it. and. Uh, Usually gives a really good presentation. Bill and, and uh, Hank and Anderson Oil and Gas is, is not just oil and gas, it's a number of other things, but uh, the thing that is common uh, and I think is indicative of, of why Bill is so successful and what I've enjoyed learning from him and talking to him about is that uh, it's all about people and relationships. Oh, he treats them with respect and uh, dignity and uh, uh, he, he's a very easy person to get along with and talk to and uh, but he says it's, he says what he believes. He's very very effective in a one-on-one -on -one discussion and uh, he's invested in a lot of businesses before and he he tells you know if, if you're a young entrepreneur and you were looking for advice he tells you what he really thinks. Learn to get along with people to me that's as critical as anything is how you deal with people. You can have the best education in the world if you can't uh, work and get along with people and it's, it, you're gonna have a hard time. To me, if you wanna get involved, it's kinda of up to you and you have to pick, kinda of pick what you think you might be helpful in doing, things you believe in. He's actually a great philanthropist too. He, he wants to make a difference. Uh, and again, he's not looking for recognition. He looks for things that he, he can really believe in and, um, you know, is, and is willing to support those things. And he's, he's an inspiration to a lot of people, probably more than he really uh, realizes. 
his involvement with other businesses in this community, is helping individuals uh, get their feet on the ground and get their start and to be successful. Um, you know, I think it's important for me. I know of some of these, and and I won't share them because Bill doesn't want the recognition. He um, he does it for all the right reasons because he cares about people and cares about this community. He wants it to be better. Bill's involved in a lot of things. I think uh, junior achievement is is one that he's supported. Uh, Centenary College is the big one. He's really big on education, but there's so many of them I probably couldn't name them all. But he he really. And a lot of people don't know about all the philanthrop philanthropic things that he's done because he he's pretty much goes out of his way to, to avoid getting too much attention for having done it. That's not the reason he's doing it. Retirement, you know, that's a word I don't know what really what that means. Uh, I have friends that have retired and, uh, and that's good if that's what they want to do. I still enjoy coming to work every day. Uh, his youngest, Murphy, is involved in the business, and he, he works up here, along with my youngest son, Cole. And it's, again, like Bill and I, Murphy's kind of in the investment side of it, Cole's in the oil and gas side of it. Murphy's here, and he's got two kids and a brand new one just arrived a few days ago, so they're all out at Bill's house, and uh, he's, he's a great grandfather. For those who really know, his impact is so vast and so, so profound. Um, this community is, and people in this community are successful in, uh, in many regards because of Bill Anderson. To me, that's, that's deserving of being in the Hall of Fame, and I'm, I'm happy for him. As uncomfortable as it might, might be for him to accept it, I'm, I'm certainly I'm happy for him. You know, he's made investments, he's helped other people with businesses, he's uh, stayed behind the scenes as much as he can, and uh, if, pe if everybody knew what I do, he would have been one of the early inductees. I'm very proud to, to, to accept this, and, uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, you're kind of opening yourself up a little bit uh, that, that we've never really done before. But, Hopefully we can live with him.